officially in Esperance and it is a bloody amazing day. It is. How it's nice going to be an it? amazing week. We just got to go to the toilet. Quick. Anyway, we're checking out shortly, but we thought we'd take you for a walk around the park because it's so nice. <clears throat> so we're staying at the RAC Esperance. And I'll give you a tip, it's actually very expensive. So for two night for, for two adults for one night, it was $75. Yeah, and we had to stay here. Well we didn't have to stay here, but Laura's sister flew in last night as you would have just seen. So we thought let's just get a caravan park chicken, refresh after a flight, and um, we can take off today. So as you can see the park's quite busy. Uh, there's some big vans in here too. Anyway, we are checking out to go to down to some low-cost camps along the beach. I'm super excited and that's why I was up so early this morning because... You're up I, early every morning. Yeah, but I, I looked at the campsite and I'm like, oh, just, I don't want to miss out. Anyway, the facilities here are amazing. Like, you got the shower and toilet block over here. You've got another one up here. Let's go up here, though. We haven't been up here. Dump points up here, which we'll need to use before we go. and uh, I can tell you it hasn't disappointed the weather is remarkable so we picked up Laura's sister and we're heading about 100 k's east of Esperance at the moment for a low-cost camp so stay tuned for that because the weather has turned it on we're spending a whole week here in uh, Esperance and around all these different free camps and low-cost camps uh, so we're going to try to get out and do some snorkeling maybe some spear fishing some fishing, some cooking, some eating, some drinking. That's living. And some baking. I'm just going to put the caravan on. It's getting a bit dusty. Not that we get a lot of dust in here, but you know, if you've got the gear, you might as well use it. <laughs> Sweetheart, how are your anxiety levels? I said to Adele, that wasn't stressful at all. Saw what the vehicle was capable of doing then. Can you imagine what it's like when you've got tyres down? Yeah. So it's all fine. This is what four wheel driving's all about. It's not that. It's, it's sliding around. It's the fact that the car or the caravan was going to hit. So. Yeah, I know, but sometimes you get in tight spots and you just got to get yourself out of them. Yeah, we come in on full pressures because the road is very accessible coming in. It is recommended four-wheel drive um, because it does get sandy. In. It's one of those things you you don't want to air down if you don't have to, but then you get into a destination you're like, it's almost too late. So um, we got in here, it was a bit, got caught up the end there, it was a little bit boggy. Laura didn't hit it with enough momentum, so we just sunk down. I still didn't air down, just put in four-wheel drive low and then reverse back out, but it was a pretty tight reverse. And then we managed to jag this spot. People were just leaving with their rooftop tent. 
The information centre did say to us, you've got to be self-sufficient down here. It's more of a, a local sort of area, she was saying. And then this is the beach out here. So there, we've got a bit of a, I think it's a bit a westerly wind. So hopefully that dies down because that water is going to be mint. All right, let's set up camp, crack a cold one and just take it easy. All right, it is a stunning day. Look at the sky, not one cloud. Mickey Mouse. Look at that. Look at the color of the sand. There's actually three beaches here. There's this main one, which is Daniel's Beach. Then if you cross the rocks, you'll go over to a little cove, where's another second beach. Then you cross the rocks again, you'll come to the third beach. So that's what we're gonna go do now. I've been doing some editing this morning. Troy's been doing some fishing. Del's kicking back by the beach. Wind's picked up. Del looks like she's made herself right at home. Have a look at this. That's exactly what she wanted to do on this trip. That's a good girl. You stay there, be good. It's a very tough life on tour. All right, I am going to bake. Yes, bake, bake on tour. When we were back home in Melbourne, we went to Chocolatier and I got this brownie in a jar mix, which is so cool. But as you can see on tour, it, has, it is starting to crystallize because it's too hot. So I have to cook this and make it brownie in a jar. It's so good. They provide you with all the dry ingredients, as you can see, the chalk chips, the sugar, and they actually use almond meal in this, not flour. And all you do is you add three eggs and some butter. All you need is 125 grams of unsalted butter. So 250 grams, smack bang in the middle. Melt this in the microwave. into the bowl, then add the, mel the melted butter, and then add the egg. And then mix it together, put it in this lightly greased tray, and then put it in the barbecue.
looking amazing. It's already telling me it's gonna come out gooey, yummy, warm, I hope. So this may take a little bit longer to cook because it's a it's a lot deeper than what I initially anticipated but we'll just see how it goes. Barbie's on about 160 which is perfect. So I've got a little trivet in here so we don't put it straight on the barbecue. Okay, it is five past four, so four thirty-five. I say. Oh, look, that just dropped once I put the open the barbecue. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We've got a little afternoon treat before dinner. Hey, Bella. Just while whilst that's cooking, my love, just want to show the video the viewers my little fishing hut. Let's have a look. this out. Want a little swing? Yes please. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Hopefully it holds me. <laughs> wow wait. It looks good on top but I'm not sure what the undercarriage looks like. You always got to be careful about the undercarriage. You do. So I've had it on for 50 minutes because the top on this side was quite um, gooey. So I just didn't want to, the side's a bit harder. So I turned the, the pan around. So let's get it out and see. The work as a team, that one. You just cut the edges off. <laughs> and then cut them in squares. It's hot. Mm. Mm. It's good, isn't it? It's goody. <laughs> oh, goody. Good. It's goody. It's gooey. Well, we're going to get another one of those. We got that from Torquay, didn't we? Mm. Yeah. Next time we go and see our friends in Torquay, we're going back there to get that. And we'll cook it. Just really low heat on mm. that barbecue. It'll be fine. And how easy is that? Just buy in the jar with oh. the mix already in there. Perfect. All right, I can't eat too much. We've got the lamb shanks on the go.
morning, the weather has turned it on. We've got Laura's sister on the barbecue doing some breakfast. Laura's inside finishing off a little bit of editing. And I'm getting the big guns out. Have a look at this. All right. There's been too much talking about fishing, not enough catching. So I thought I'd unleash the weapons. What do we got here? Oh. She's a bit dusty. So I always had an issue with how I stored my fishing rods. I've obviously got them on the roof, but you can't leave your reels on. So if you're fishing from spot to spot, you don't really want to be unpacking your reels and your rods and you know re-rigging up all the time. So I had this zip wall bag, which is from an old, it's from work stuff that I had, and uh, it fits perfectly. The rods just fit in there nicely. So this is, this is it. <laughs> Keeps them nice and protected. If you don't get tangled. I just cable tied the, the tips together and that way they don't get broken in the bag because this obviously sits at the back of the caravan and gets strapped down. I'm gonna change a few rigs because I might put some whiting gear on and there's a beautiful little spot out there off the rocks. The wind's died off, we're right to go. This today is the fishing, catching fish day. Mark my words, this time we're gonna be on. Must be incoming tide, I think. I mean, what would I know? I can't even catch a bloody squid, whiting. I could be at work. Can't complain too much. I know what old mate's waiting for. He's waiting for me to catch a fish so I can give him the guts. Tell you what, mate, you'll be waiting for a while. We'll see you here same time next year. All right, we're about to leave this amazing spot. So remember, it's Menbenup Beach, and this is one of the best campsites you can get. It is a bit soft in some sections, but most of it's pretty hard. We're here at the Duke of Orleans Caravan Park. Now we weren't gonna come to a caravan park, we are gonna free camp, but uh, a lot of the beautiful beaches are around here. So it's better off us camping here for a couple of nights and then going exploring the area. And as you can see, there's a lot to do. Yeah. <laughs>
And we just drove down this road and turned right and there's the caravan park. As we come down this road, there's this massive rock right in front of us, which you would have seen on the footage. You can actually walk to that rock during low tide. Oh, nice. Yeah. Down uh, here are some rock pools. Um, that you could snorkel at. You just drive along 2Ks of the gravel, park there and then swim there. Awesome. Little Wharton Bay, you can snorkel just there and then drive 3Ks up the road to Wharton Beach, which is dog friendly half of it because that's the Shire. Yes. So this half is the Shire, this half is the National Park. So dogs can come on here, you can drive on the beach. Fish is Fishing is good there. I'll beat the chat for that. <clears throat> and then you can drive along, I think, this rock <clears throat> to Little Wharton Bay. So, cool. uh, plenty to do. And it's quarter to 11 in the morning, so they actually let us check in way earlier than the 12 o'clock or 2 o'clock check in. Did you so say who you good. were? Okay. <laughs> okay, so straight down. Past the dump point. Beautiful. Don't turn too much. Still got three meters. Good job, Dar. No, Kicked no, it. It. no challenges there. This would have to be one of the best beaches I've seen ever. This is immaculate. It's got everything. It's got a you know a bit of hiking, swimming, surfing. This little inlet here is quite sheltered and protected. There's not much swell there, but at the front of the beach where we were before, those waves are you know good four or five foot. Go for a swim? Yeah. yeah.
Welcome back. It's week four for us, the start of week four. We're, we're getting on. We're getting out and about, that's what we're doing. Yeah. So this morning we're up at the Krakadaka. Again. Beautiful day, a little bit of breeze. It's gonna be about 36 today, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be beautiful down the <clears throat> beach. You get that onshore breeze and then it's not so hot. But anyway, it's 7.20 in the morning and we are down at the Duke of Orleans Bay and we're about to do something epic. Well, we'll yeah, hopefully. So, something a bit different. So come over here. Can you see that rock? What's it called? It's called Table Island. And what you do is on very low tide, you can actually walk from the mainland over to that island. So that's what we're going to do today. Hopefully we don't get stranded. Yeah. Time will tell. So we've got our walking shoes on, having a little bit of a break from the thongs. Um, Troy's just going to put the drone up now and check it out. I'll just walk down and have a look at the conditions, but I think it's good to go. Coos, what are you going to do? I don't think you're going to be any anywhere near that drone, are you? The idea is to walk over on low tide, walk around the rock as much as we can, or walk up the rock, and then come back before the tide starts to uh, come in. Wow, this is a beautiful place to swim. What, babe? <laughs> Look at that. This is the perfect way to start the day. Low tide, sun's up, and no one else on the beach. And Kui absolutely loves it. Apart from the drone. Mm. The mountain dog with us. You could really get caught up with just keep going right around the island. We've got to be mindful of the tide's still coming in and we don't want to be stuck on here. But stunning, absolutely stunning. No one else here. Coco. Bit breezier on this side. Beautiful. Just after you've walked all those rocks, it's just so refreshing to get your feet into this water. Oh, 
Isn't that cool? Okay. How do you reckon it'll go if I give him a little toot? Reckon that'll go down well? <laughs> oh, here they are, here she comes. Just bringing a few things for Alan. We've been wait, waiting here very patiently. Oh, it's nice to I just said to the viewers, what do you think I should give her a little toot? And you get a little... <laughs> That's why I didn't give it the toot. come to this beautiful little location. I don't think too many people know about it, apart from the locals. But have a look at it. If you don't catch anything here, there's something seriously wrong. Yeah, <clears throat> and I noticed on the rocks here, look, that looks like squid ink to me. That's promising. So I'm gonna squid, and you're gonna fish, aren't you? We're gonna do, we're gonna do it all. Okay. He's got high hopes. So we'll set up, we'll see how we go. What have you done here, darling? It's a bit of a mischief. I don't understand how that happens. Hmm. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> That's exactly why I stopped fishing. Anyway, I was fishing with my fishing rod and I was trying to catch squid. I had a few goes here and then I decided to go on that rock there and I got caught on the, uh, the weeds. So down one pink squid jig. But it's addictive. And down, a, down 150 metres of line. I'm not sure he'll work it out. <laughs> what are you doing? We're finished. There's one more. 
could be the one, darling. Or not. Trust me. Dave! One more. Be a good girl. Yeah, you can see what mummy and daddy's bed. I'll put your blanket up there. Where's your toy? Where's Kenny? From Kenny? No gecko? And your friends? Which one? Which one do you want? We are heading to the movies tonight. We're going to see Forces of Nature, so the Dry 2. It's showing at 7.20 at the Esperance Cinemas, so it's cool because it's been a very chill day. Um, Adele's just been working on the puzzle. Troy and I had a little sleep and then I did some editing and kui has been sleeping all day, so it's good to get out now, go see a movie. And that's our Saturday night. So if you're wondering what we're doing with Coco, and I'm saying this softly so no one outside hears me, is we are leading her in the caravan. We've got trust in her to do that, so she will just sleep. She's been for a walk with Adele. She's just had her dinner. She's done her business, I believe. Twice. Twice. Okay, she's done. And we have a camera. So I can keep an eye on her. We did this in Marimbula as well when we went to the movies there. I had the camera on Coco and Molly and they were fine. So we're off. I've got me medicinal purposes. <laughs> That's what we're gonna say. I reckon she would get Kenny. She's on shore. Good to get all the gear, no idea. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning, it is our last day officially in Esperance, and we are going to do the Great Ocean Drive. Now, this is a loop around Esperance, it's about 40 k's. You can do it in a two wheel drive car, you can do it in a four wheel drive car. There is plenty of 
beaches along along the way there's plenty of snorkeling and we're going to finish it off at the lucky bay brewery we start here at esperance we'll grab a coffee and someone wants something to eat and then we'll come down here to west beach fourth beach salmon beach twilight beach and that's observatory point so that is leg one and it's only seven k's Kick it All right, so you're the navigator. Kick it, rip it. Don't get us lost. Turn right, turn left. First stop, West Beach. Here we go. She's rough and ready out there. What do you think of West Beach? She's pretty. She's blowy. Lucky Bay Brewery and Misto is having a tasting paddle. So the paddle I got for him was today's paddle. So it's got initials on there, Darwin. So tell me what the initial is. B and B. B2B. Is B2B it? is Beaches to Bow Boab. It's a blonde ale. 3.5% alcohol. Oh, it's very light. Very light. Extremely light. Nice. Yeah, good. Very refreshing. What okay. have we got here? SR? SR is Skippy Rock. A Kolsch Draft. Kolsch Draft. 5.3% alcohol. It's going up in strength, <laughs> slightly. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? An F8. An F8. Oh, figure, figure of eight. A session ale, four percent alcohol. Ooh, I love the sessions. <laughs> it's got a bit more um, aftertaste to it. That one. Okay. This one I'm interested in. It's very red. It's like a raspberry. FF. FF is this one here. Forbidden fruit. It's a mulberry sour, three percent alcohol. Oh dear. That's got some kick. Oh. Some real fruit kick. Bit of like. Like a wine? It's very sour. Oh. Yeah. That'd be right up Harrison's alley. It almost tastes like a cider. What is, what's your favourite? I'm gonna go this one. The Skippy Rock? Yeah. Pulse Draft. Well, it's just like a Carlton Draft, isn't it? <laughs> they don't sell coke here, they only sell coke zero, so I've gone the ginger beer. Cheers! There you are my love. Thank you darling. That looks good. Special order. I don't even have any pizza ready. <laughs> Yeah. Just the um, hellfire. What are we doing? We're scooting. We've got to lock the car. Just bloody excited. We've got our matching flannies. I think I'm dressed more appropriately. Yeah, but. Yeah, I'm probably not matching. I've got me seagulls on there, me lucky fishing shorts. Well, I haven't caught anything with them on yet, but I'm, I'm claiming them as to be the lucky ones, lucky shorts. It's about 10 to 6 at night, Sunday night. I haven't even had a beer yet. 
Last night in Esperance. Oh, actually, I have had a beer. We're at the brewery today, weren't we? Yeah, you have. You had four, darling. Had four beers and then I fell asleep. And Adele and Coach are, are walking down to the jetty. All right, let's get serious. All right, darling, what's your weapon of choice? My mint green fishing rod, please, sweetheart. One that Shit, always, it's cold. The one that always gets tangled. I don't need to be rude. You're good to go. Okay, watch me cast. Wind it up a little bit. Just hold on. Now. Without, without squid jigging me. That's enough. That's enough. Hey, babe. What? You're hooking around my line. You just go over there, please. Cast it as far as you want. Let it sink. That's <laughs> we're off to a flyer. Let it sink for a bit too. Is there any danger of just fishing right beside us? Now, don't let it hit the bottom because you'll get caught on those weeds. There's two and a half hours I'm not going to get back. But I'll tell you what, pretty nice scenery. I think I've only seen like one person catch a squid up there. I'm gonna have to stop filming my fishing abilities because it must, it must be the omen. It must be because I bring the GoPro along, I reckon. Anyway, Laura's cooking up a pork roast, so I'd much rather be doing that, eating that, than standing out in the cold, catching absolutely nothing. So I'm off. Something smells good. To provide for the family. How did, how did you know I didn't? Because I would have had a photo by now. Well, we. Nothing? Winner, winner, pork dinner. <laughs> no, there's no squid in there. <laughs> I feel like we're going to go all around Australia and not catch one thing. God. Oh, kisses. Kiss for Auntie Del. <laughs> it's better. Thank you for the cuddles. Thank you for the play on the beach. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having Hope you had fun. Safe travels on Rex. Thank you. Rex is good. That's fun in Perth. <laughs> Thank Have you. Have you got a jumper for the plane? Yeah. Yep. yep. We'll check in luggage. Everything is. You're laughing. Easy. That's the yep. way to do it. Yeah. Alright, All right. we've got five days until the next flight arrives. <laughs> Alright, and I've got about seven months till. The my next holiday, which is the wedding. Is it already yeah. seven? September. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright guys, that's the end of this episode. We're gonna leave you here at Wharton Beach. We might show you a few things that we do later on tonight. But Paradise. For now we're stuck here and enjoying it. Yeah, it's a hard life at the moment, but uh, uh, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for coming along on our journey. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button to help us uh, continue these wonderful episodes. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. I just can't get enough of this one. Yeah. Just, just pan around. <laughs> well, we... Like, don't let the water fool you. No. It's actually freezing cold. It is. So all those people that just run and jump in the water, they're kidding themselves. It is bloody freezing. Alright, we've got two in the background.